Hi, welcome to The Collectible Show. My name is Aaron Lapidus, and I'm your host tonight. I'd like to welcome my guest, Bill Visas of Bill's Sports Collectible Store in Denver, Colorado. Bill, thank you for being on tonight. Oh, thanks for having me, Aaron. Let's touch a little bit about eBay and other auction houses. <laughs> what do you think about those places? Uh, I mean, eBay, I think, you know, for the most part, it's like more, you know, for somebody, if you want to get rid of your cards, it's a good way to get rid of them as a collector or something. As a, as to try to maximize what you get for something. If they're older cards, you know, from my experience, you don't get what, you know, you could walk into a, col you know, collectible store, sports card store, and probably get the same amount or more from a card dealer than you get on eBay a lot of times. I mean, eBay is good where you have just an accumulation of a lot of, you know, you know, junk, I, you know, yes. you know, you can move that. But for things that are better, you know, the better quality cards, you know, buying them or selling them, I mean, you're better, you're better off, you know, going to a sports car dealer, you know, in my opinion. It, at this there's point. a lot of danger <laughs> out there when you go on to like an Amazon.com or right. a Yahoo or an eBay, and there's several that when you buy, you don't exactly know what you're going to get. Right. And you hear great stories of people getting great deals, mm -hmm. and then you hear sad <laughs> stories where they couldn't see the image properly, okay. and then they get something that they don't want. What are some of the questions somebody should be asking if they're trying to buy a baseball card or a basketball card on one of these auction sites? Yeah, um, I'd say, you know, you always got to ask them if, you know, I mean, just the condition and things, have the person explain to you, you know, what, you know, exactly the card looks like. Because even if you scan a card, defects are easy to, you know, on a scan you can't see everything. You know, and you just basically, whether it's like Amazon or you're coming to a card store, I'd say somebody that you know their reputation and is reliable, you know, is probably the best thing, you know, even when you're, you know, you know, you're bidding for cards online, you know, get to know the people that are continually auctioning things off and, the, you know, just usually the guy that's on there every week, you know, with 50 vintage cards is going to, you know, except for the, you know, as opposed to the guy that has one you know, Babe Ruth card, you guys go, wow, where do you get, you know. Exactly, because there is a rating system <laughs> right. on eBay and several of them where you can see mm -hmm. what other viewers and other buyers have given the rating. So you're basically saying that, look, researching the person who you're buying it from. Right, and if he's, you know, been on there consistently and, you know, no complaints, plus if you notice, you know, that, you know, every week he has different cards and they're all like high quality cards or something, that means, you know, he must be sell. you know, there must be demand for, what he's selling on there and so you know I always go with that you know I mean you always can have a guy the first time he goes on there has great cards and you may miss out but a lot of times you know when a person's not knowledgeable when they're trying to tell you grade something for you you know they may not intentionally be misleading you but exactly. they just don't you know they just don't have the experience you know in saying you know what you know the average card collector would consider good or very good or excellent or near mint. It's a little bit of buyer beware and you probably should ask how long their money back guarantee is. Right. If you get it, if you're not happy, can you return it? Yeah, and ask them if they've you know been in the card business whether it's a mail order dealer or a storefront dealer for like a year or six months or you know, tw you know like 20 years. I think that's like in my case when somebody knows that we you know you know been in the same location for 20 years it kinda adds a little bit of credibility you know and that's you know, but not saying that the guy that just opened the shingle, you know, six weeks ago can be, you know. Well, that's great. And they want to see the face of the card, and they want to make sure they're emailed the other side of the card. Because if there's problems on the other side, oh, yeah. it could be just as bad as if it's problems yep. on the front of that. You get the card, what should you worry about? Sunlight, <laughs> moisture, what are the kind of things that are the big enemy of a, a good card? Well, like any paper, you know, collectible, basically like moisture and sunlight, you know, the more it's exposed to, you know, the sun, a card will fade over the course of time. You know, and same thing with moisture. Actually, you know, here in Colorado, it's a great climate because you don't have to worry. You know, it's a fairly dry climate. You know, the paper stays, you know, stays good forever. Like when you're in a, you know, back east or something, you know, you know, you have to worry about, you know, keeping them in basements and attics because other things they can get, you know, near them and get moldy and stuff. You exactly. Know. And once they get moldy, it's basically you can't really stop mold. It's a living organism. Right. Um, when you're storing a card, I just take it no light. Maybe <laughs> is are there proper boxes to store cards? Yeah, in? they've got. I mean, they since I opened my doors, I mean the uh, things, the supplies to store uh, cards with have just you know, you know, improved a million percent. 
and then the other boxes that fit every type of card perfectly. It can be almost airtight. Yep. I want to thank my guest, Bill Visas from Bill's Sports Collectible, and I want to thank you for tuning on in. I'm Aaron Lapidus, and remember, one person's trash is another person's treasure, so keep collecting and have a great night. Thank you.